a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my subscriber? That was so corny. That was really bad. It's okay. Welcome to Bella's Bargains. I am Amy, and today is Shopping Saturdays. And you know what that means? That means I bring you a huge, and I mean huge, we could almost say humongous, ginormous, gigantic Dollar Tree haul, all for you. All right, guys, if this is your first time here, welcome so much. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for joining me today. And um, I am Dollar Tree and only Dollar Tree. So everything I do on my channel is Dollar Tree. My Dollar Tree DIYs are all Dollar Tree products that you can buy to make your DIYs at the Dollar Tree. No added extra stuff that you have to order online and go to Hobby Lobby or Michaels or Lowe's or Home Depot or wherever. You can get everything you need to do my projects at the Dollar Tree. So on Tuesdays, I do Totally Easy Tuesdays, which is crafting for the non-crafters. So if you show up on Tuesdays, you're going to get DIYs and upscales that anybody can do. And on Thursdays, I do themed Thursdays. Last Thursday, it was heart theme, and it was the last of my Valentine's DIYs. And Fridays are Foodie Fridays. Yesterday, we did the Foodie Friday. Um, and today is Shopping Saturday. So on Fridays, I do food reviews of Dollar Tree Foods. All of my past weeks are linked down below. So if you want to see any of those, please check them out. But let's just dive right in. Let's just go right into what I have this week from my Dollar Tree haul. So I'm going to categorize this, and I'm going to start with, because I have to start with, containers because I have so many that I don't have room up here to have anything but them. So I'm just trying to decide where I want to start. So this is a pretty normal thing that they carry at the Dollar Tree. They're black wire baskets. I'm going to do a DIY with this. Um, they're very sturdy, you guys. I got to say, these are pretty nice. Um, and they're a good size. I mean, they're probably nine inches across. They're probably about six inches deep. And they have different ones in different sizes. So there's one of those. Um, I was so happy to pick up some things in the kitchen area. And um, I'm not sure I've seen them before. But no, I'm pretty sure I haven't seen them before. So they're made by Essentials. And this is a drawer organizer. And look at that. It's got the non-slip in the bottom of it for you, your utensil drawer. Um, and it is nine and three quarters inch by, it's almost a 10 by four. Okay, so it's a good size. It's got the non-slip feet on the bottom. So I purchased that one in black and then I purchased the larger one in the white. And this one is 13.5 by 3.75. So the same width, one's a little bit longer. So obviously this is for, you know, your larger utensils. Um, and I love them. I think they're very nice. They are made by Essentials, if I didn't already say that. But I also picked up a black and a white one in this size. And these are 9.75 by 6.75. So these are great for like, you know, some of your like, bottle openers, apple corer, stuff like that. But I love to organize my utensil drawers because it just makes it easier. Because I hate it when things like slide under and it's like, then I can't find them. And so if I can organize them, that's all the better. And since I've recently moved, I'm still doing some organization into this kitchen because um, I went from a bigger kitchen to a smaller kitchen. So I've got to get a little bit better. I can't just open the drawer and throw it in. <laughs> so I was super happy to find these. Um, and I don't think I've seen them there before. Okay, so organizing baskets, these little wire baskets, which I think would be perfect for like uh, napkins or whatever. And the size of these are six by six by two inch. But you know what I bought them for? Now you're gonna send, this is going to sound crazy because it's not even close to Christmas, but that's okay. I'm actually going to do a Christmas DIY where I'm going to put them together with a box and put some lights inside of them and a bow on top. But the thing is, when I think of it, I purchase it because things aren't always there when you go to look for them at the Dollar Tree. So if you see something you like, you should always pick it up right away. Then brand new in their kitchen area were these little doohickeys. This is by Clip Surefresh, which Surefresh is it's like a brand name, isn't it? I should have looked it up for you guys. Anyway, it's container and lid. I just got a couple of them for organizing craft stuff, but look, they go on. They're also great for lunches. These would be fantastic for lunches. And they had them in different colors. I wanna say they had like a blue and a red and a purple, and they had a lot of spring colors as well. I just happened to pick up the purple, and I only got two of them because I thought, well, I'm not sure how many I need, so I started out with two. All right, and um, this little doohickey, which they call it a bucket. This thing is huge. I could definitely get probably two six-packs of beer in here. 
But I'm gonna DIY it. I wanna take some of the nautical rope and make it a very pretty rope basket for pennies on the dollar of what something like this would cost me. It's nice because it's white on the inside, so I don't have to paint anything. I can just cover it with the Dollar Tree um, rope, and it's gonna look amazing. So that'll be an upcoming DIY. I'll probably have a themed, ba I'll probably have a themed like basket day because I also want to do this one, right? So we'll see. Um, and also picked up this little doohickey, which is like a little tote. Do they call these? It's they call it a basket, but you know, it's like a little tote thing. I love this color. It's one of my favorite colors right now. Um, and they have a bunch of them out in spring colors. They have like a peach and this color and is there a pink? Oh, I can't remember you guys, I'm sorry. But I picked up the teal and I really like it. And I might enhance this a little bit with some rope on the handles and whatnot too because I'm gonna be using it in my bedroom for a little storage thing. And this little number, which I love, and it's a, a basket, but look at how it's like a clear so I'm also gonna DIY this. I'm definitely doing a themed basket DIY day. I have to. Um, because I love the shape of this. It's like sort of a, it's, it's like a casserole sized dish. And I thought what a cool thing to do with some nautical rope as an office container. So pick that up. I hate saying pick that up, but I did. I did pick that up. All right, let me go into the spring line that they have, which is so awesome. I'm just in love with these little things. And I picked up some of them. I picked up um, quantities of more than one. This being one of them. First of all, we're back to that soft pastel teal color almost. I don't even know what you would call this color. I call it pastel teal. This is just a storage bin. Um, I didn't bring my tape measure. I'm sorry, you guys. I should have. But that's okay. You, you're going to get the idea. They are... Um, nice size, perfect for sliding in, sliding out on closet shelves or something like that. And I'm using this color in my bedroom, which is why I purchased these and I got three of them. And they also had it in a square. Love that. These are great for um, bathroom stuff too, under your sinks and whatnot. Just, I'm loving the color. And again, they had these in the spring colors and they had all different sizes of them. Um, but, but... Not only do they have these wonderful spring colors, but they did this amazing, like lacy cut out. How beautiful is that? Like I kind of want to cut one out and use it as a stencil. Um, but these are amazing because they, they stack on top of each other. This really is perfect under cabinet storage because you can multi-level stack. Love these. Um, so beautiful, uh, just, they're uh, I mean, a dollar, people, a dollar, people, a dollar. Oh, and in that same line, they had like all of these other shapes and sizes. So, I mean, this is like makeup counter, uh, um, so many things. I'm going to be using these on my vanity. Again, they have this beautiful pattern just love this i think it's incredible um i mean it they're just this is perfect for putting bottles or cans of hair supply stuff in they don't give the dimensions i'm sorry and then the longer square one and then this short little storage one i i love them i'm just i'm i think they're amazing but it doesn't end there then they came out with these new they're like the um, what do they call them? The window storage bin. Okay, so they have black and they have sort of an ivory. And I opened one up so you guys could see. This is so cool. First of all, it's lined with like a plastic and there's a wire on the top of it. And they give you the dimensions on these. I think I did the dimensions 12 by 9 and 0.37 and they're like almost eight inches high. This is a good size. So I found these. I was so excited. I bought four of them because I'll be using them for organization and these can be out in a room because they're beautiful enough. And so then I picked up one of these because I was hoping that this would fit into this in the bottom. It doesn't. I might finagle it a little bit and I tried like to squeeze in, but I'm thinking like if I just took some pliers and bent up one little side of it it would fit the, in there as a support and I might I might still do that but 
I was hoping it was going to be a perfect fit. It wasn't. Of course not. But you guys, these are so cool for a dollar. And again, they're lined. So I'm not going to say they're waterproof because I don't know. But if you can see the inside, they're, they're nicely seamed too. See that? They have like the canvas um, cover on the seam. It's so nice. These are amazing for one dollar. Okay, so that was all of my storage stuff. So I'm gonna clear all this out and bring you some more goodies. So the next category is um, animals, specifically cats. Um, they have these cat bowls that have rubber, it's like a non-slip thing on the bottom. And so I treat, every once in a while I treat my cats with wet cat food. Normally they get a prescription dry cat food, but they get a treat every once in a while and I have to separate them when I do it. And so I can't leave it in the can, so I have to separate them and I'll like, I've used all kinds of things to serve it in and I thought, this is so dumb, why don't I just get specific bowls? You know what, they're smart, well one of them's smart enough, won't, might even learn what color bowl theirs is. So I got that, but also, <laughs> I picked up two more. I already put them somewhere, so I can't show them to you. But I picked up two more because I want to do a DIY that's a giant yo-yo. Do you see it? And then I want to put a little picture frame in here for um, the, a new grandbaby. I just think, how cute would that be, like an oversized yo-yo? Okay, maybe I'm the only one who sees that. Probably. We're going to go with that. All right, and then they have new cat toys, and I'm so excited. These are suction cup cat toys. So there's a suction cup on the end. So I can put it like on um, from a window, from the sliding glass doors, and they can just go bonkers or from a mirror, whatever. And they are going to love these. And I do, I do spray a little catnip on new toys when I put them out so that they go like, oh, what's that? And then they start to play with it. So I'm so excited about these because I think they're absolutely going to love them. That's it. And that's it. And in animal land. So let's move on to, um, I call it the man aisle, the man cave aisle, where they have all that, you know, the houseware stuff and all the electronic stuff and all that. All right, so in the electronics department, they have these phone holders. And if you can see in the picture there, like the phone holder is, um, I don't know. Anyway, I just realized I don't have my light on. I've done this before. I get in such a hurry. Wait, am I brighter now? Maybe a little brighter, it doesn't matter. Okay, so these are the little foam holders. Well, I didn't buy them for that because what I see is little gnome hands. Does, does it, they just like, like to make a little gnome and put these on there and then the gnome can be holding something, which I bought some stuff for that too. So, and I do wanna make some holiday gnomes for like St. Patrick's Day and stuff. So I purchased these for that. Okay, whatever. A Spider-Man nightlight, a gift for one of the grandkids. That's cute. LED projector lights, because I send these off to the two youngest ones. These are really cool, and they actually do project on the wall. And this one is a fish. Like, can you see in the picture there? No, it's probably not clear, but they're fish. So they're little fishies. So I thought that'd be fun to send them. This is amazing. I've already opened one. I put it in my coat closet, which is really dark. There's no light in there. So you add three AAA batteries. I think it's three AAAs, right? Three Three, where does it say? Yep, three AAA batteries. And instead of a push, like those lights are always pushed. This one, you flip a switch and on it goes and it works and it's amazing. So I purchased these for some of those dark areas because again, moved recently. And so then you realize all these areas that are a little lacking in light, like closets. And so I was like, okay, well, I'll try that. I have to yell at a cat. Hey, stop eating the fake flat. Hey, oh, you little... That's not healthy for you. My cats think that faux plants are, he's trying to eat this. He's trying to eat it. What is in there that they think that that's edible? I don't even know. All right, let's keep going. Um, the jumbo plastic clothespins, this is for DIYing, just cause it's really nice to have something that can clamp that's got a bigger bite on it. This, I think, is brand new, so I'm not sure. It's called Shiny Steel, and it's got two sides to it. It's ide ideal for stainless steel two-in-one. Now, I have, let me see it back there. I have stainless. 
So I've tried so many different things to clean my stainless, but one thing that's irritating is sometimes you just want to wipe it down um, and there, you know, you open the fridge, you got something on your hands, you just want to give it a little scrub. And so I'm thinking this might be ideal for that as opposed to pulling out the rag and the shameless steel stuff and yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. So I'm hoping, anyway, if not, it's pretty colors. Okay, now it should work. Then I've never seen these wood, faux wood, that pull them a bobbers, removable hooks. So I've heard that the Dollar Tree ones aren't super good, which could be true, I don't even know. But I thought for a DIY, you could put these hooks on there and I can attach them other than with just the removable stuff. And it would be um, better than like the stark white ones that they have. Some utility knives just because I need utility knives. All right, in the cleaning supplies place, I this is a toilet brush, but it's super wiry really stiff wiry and I got it because in my new shower to get down there and scrub along it's um it's got a pedal floor and whatnot so just to use a regular sponge is hard because you have to really put some pressure to get it between the rocks and I thought man this might work really well so I'm not going to use it on toilets I'll let you know I mean I don't know why that wouldn't work and they have a brand new line um well I think it's not I don't have the handle here wait yes I do hold on God, I'm so unorganized today. All right, so you can buy, this is from Essentials, right? So this is the, the, the handle, it's just plastic, it's not wood or anything. And then this is the handle, um, I mean the flat mop head, this is the flat mop head. But then they sell, never, these are new. So this is a microfiber mop, Heavy duty microfiber microfiber mop pad. And um, this is light duty, this is heavy duty, and this one's light duty. Now I have a lot of um, tile floors and so easy, and I've done a Swiffer, I've done all that, but sometimes, you know, I just need to wet a little mop head and go. And these are, I'm assuming I'm gonna be able to wash and reuse these and on the bottom of this, there is Velcro, and it all lines up so it sticks. See that? Come on, people. It was $2 for the mop, and a dollar each for the mop head. Come on. Um, I mean, I think it sounds amazing. And then I also found Barkeepers there. So Barkeepers Cleanser. This is um, stainless steel, porcelain, ceramic, copper, brass, fiberglass, corn. It's like you can use it on everything. But this supposedly Barkeepers is really, really good at getting rust out. And I have a stainless steel sink. And so scrubbing it down with this is going to be really nice. So there's that. How about in, um, let's go into office supply stuff. Jot basically. This is super cute list. What I love about this, it says to do and the bottom is perforated. So it says, don't forget, how often are you running to the store and you wanna, you know, write something down so I can rip it off and take it with me. So really like that. I purchased one of these for my granddaughter and then I purchased one for myself. These are so adorable. They're almost a faux leather bound little notebook. Super beautiful um, and beautiful to put by my bed at night when oftentimes I wake up and wanna make notes in the middle of the night. Does, does anybody else do that? Give me a thumbs up right now. Hit that thumbs up button right now if you wake up in the middle of the night and write stuff down too. It's not just me, right? I hope not. No, it's not. I'm sure it's not. Jurassic Park, what? Jurassic World, rather. Oh my gosh, I found two more things for my, this Jurassic World package that's going off to these boys in a couple of weeks is gonna be amazing. These are mechanical pencils and they're, look at that, they're so cute. Um, so yeah, more Jurassic World stuff. I'm convinced that they just couldn't send the stuff off to the amusement park. So it got sent to, um, to Dollar Tree. Uh, this is so cute. This is index cards, 99% unicorn with, I love this with a little elastic holder thing. And, um, the granddaughter is in like junior high. So that's about the age you really start using index cards, I think. Anyway, I just, it was too cute. Just as a little something to send her off one of, one of the times that I mail off a package. Just so adorable. And 
What does it have on it? The rings, so you can stick it into your notebook or on a backpack or wherever, right? Also super adorable are these little doohickeys. They're just little notebooks. There's four of them. This one is just the llama. I cut off, sorry. Um, it's just, it's llamas, but on the inside, the pages are all green. Can you see that? Like, how cute is that? This one, it says um, wild at heart, and there's a heart on the cover of it. And inside, the pages are black. So cute. This one has just flowers on it, and the pages are sort of a reddish burgundy almost, or like a burnt red, I guess. Um, it's the little things in life is what this one says with the pretty orange paper inside. I think these are adorable. I love that they're like a little miniature, you know, um, notebook kind of thing. And look, the shape of the rings. Can you see that? It's a heart. So, so cute. Can you guys see that that's a heart? I'm upside down now. Or maybe this way. They're cut out like hearts on the, oh, they're so cute. Perfect little thing to give so many age groups from very little to, because this one says it's little things in life for a young lady. I mean, anyway, great little gifts. And then because I'm doing the pocket letters with my granddaughter that I'm gonna start, these are so perfect. These are tiny little stationary sets. So inside of here, you get a mini notebook, two sticky notepads, and a gel pen. How cute is that? So adorable. Will fit perfect into the pocket letter um, things. And just and they come with a little Ziploc baggie. And again, you can put it into your notebook because it's got the little just adorable. And I picked up some Dr. Seuss erasers because I saw somebody else, and now I can't remember the name of the channel. If I could, you, you found more fake flowers to eat. I'm in, my cats are determined to drive me crazy. So somebody else I saw on YouTube, they did a gnome, and he was holding the little Dr. Seuss books, which I thought was super cute. I'm not sure that that's what I'm gonna use these for, but I also thought they'd be really cute on a tear tray or actually as little miniature ornaments on a little miniature Christmas tree. So there's a whole bunch of Dr. Seuss stuff at the Dollar Tree right now. Um, these are stationary sets, which I will be sending off to uh, some of the grandkids at some point. And so when I send, if I send these to, it's probably my granddaughter, I will take out the envelopes. First of all, let me just show you. They have these sheets of paper in them. This is like the lemon one. There's two note cards that say shine on. And then there are one, two, three, it looks like six envelopes. So I will send these off. I will pre-address them to me. I will pre-stamp them and then ask them to please send me a letter every now and again. Just to, you know, it's a great way if you want to get some communication from your grandkids is to send them pre-stamped envelopes. Like, please write to me. Anyway, they, these are just so adorable. Um, this is this pattern. And then they have this one, which is like the pineapples. So cute. And this one is the best colors. The best, the best color is rainbow. So cute, you guys. So basically six things that can be sent in the mail for one dollar. A dollar, people, a dollar. All right, and I keep talking about that pirate wedding that's coming up, and now it's time to really get serious and start planning it. So I bought myself two things. First of all, doesn't this look pirate? <laughs> it does. This is for my purse. A little 2021 thing so I can make notes in here and remember all the things that I have to do, especially if I'm out and about. And then this little one, because it's got different sections that I can section it off in, see that dividers, to start making notes about all the things that I need to do to get that wedding going up and running. But pirate, yes, right? So looks like a pirate. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's pause again so I can bring the next haul of stuff up here. Okay, let's finish this up. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go to like the houseware stuff. All right, so I found these two. So adorable. This is like a copper and this is a black. I don't know if they had any others. This is what I found. These are tea light holders, but this is so high-end looking, so cool. Love these. 
I purchased them actually for outside because the glass doesn't come out. So if they fall, we're not gonna break any glass. So they're great for outdoors, for little tea light holders. Lo love those. A dollar, people. A dollar. So modern looking. I really like those. Found um, some new candles. And I also love the colors on these. And so, yes, I'll burn the candles. This one is, I don't know what it is. It says scented candle. But it doesn't say what the scent is. That's so, okay, wait, yes, it does. It's um, bergam bergamot ginger. I don't know. And, mm, okay. This one is rose water bamboo. You can smell the rose in this one. And this one is melon papaya. Oh, I love papayas. Ooh, yeah, I can smell the papaya in there. Okay, so, but the thing about these is, yeah, there's a candle in there, great, but look at those beautiful, vibrant, and look at the texture on this. Afterwards, you have a beautiful piece of glassware that you can use for so many things. However, what I wanted to show you was this. And see, when I think it's all done, I actually think I'm gonna permanently attach these together and use the top one as a tea light because I think it would be really cool. Anyway. Um, there you go. Love those. Okay. They also, what the heck? This is a huge bag of shells. Who's getting married in November and doing a pirate theme? Oh, wait. Oh, ah, mm, yeah, me. Okay. These are huge. This is a pound of shells for a dollar. A dollar, people, a dollar. So excited. I got a few of those for the decorations, obviously. It's a pirate wedding. We're going to have you know, treasures and treasures and seashells and all that. Okay, speaking of treasures, I'm gonna jump out of this area and go to the party area because look at all these coins, which also, what am I using these for? Mm, yeah, you got it. I was like, perfect, perfect, perfect. There's 30 coins in here. Amazing. So I picked up some of those for the wedding. And while we're in party supply, I might as well just move right along to these, which I also picked up for the wedding. And these are the party poppers. Now I did one of these ones before, on um, a haul that I did, and they're amazing. They pop out um, black and gold confetti so at around New Year's time so that I found some more. I was like, yes, purchase them all because I will be randomly handing these out after the I do's and choom, Mr. and Mrs. How fun. It's in my own backyard so I can get confetti all over if I want, and it's big confetti. See the picture? It is big confetti, like big pieces, so it's not that hard to clean up. Okay, let's go back to house wishes for a second because I did find these, which they have these there pretty regularly. I just haven't been able to find them. And um, I live in Arizona, and so I really like the cactus, and I'm gonna do some DIYs with these little boogers because, of course, they're metal, and they're a cactus. Or right now, they're cacti. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway, randomly. That was just awkward, wasn't it? Okay, so another wish list item that I've been looking for and I finally found was this pillowcase because it says this is good night isn't that cute so as the topper pillow on your bed like I have a bed with a lot of pillows on it and so um there's always the pillows on top that aren't quite um they're almost, they're supposed to be I don't know deck never mind nobody's gonna know what I'm talking about anyway so I purchased these for the top two pillows and they're silky and they're only a dollar so if they don't last long or they get, um, they're only a dollar, a dollar people, a dollar. So I was really happy to find those. I was so happy, satin pillowcases, 20 inch by 30 inch. And this one says, this one, oh, they say good morning. Did I say good night? Cause they say good morning, sorry, good morning. Okay, they do have ones that say good night also. I haven't found those yet. Um, let's jump into the only piece of Main Street Wall Creations that I purchased, which was this one, and look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So my daughter, she has a mermaid bathroom. I definitely picked this up for her. I'm like, on a mirror, this would be stunning. Just incredible. And I painted a whole mermaid tail in her bathroom for her, and so these colors are all gonna be perfect. It's just, I love this. I think it's amazing. Just beautiful, stunning. So I got that for her. How about we go into toys? Okay, so I don't normally pick up coloring books. However, I did this time. And the reason I did, I'm gonna, this one has inspirational quotes. Now, it, I thought about it for a second. I was like, wait a second. If I look in here, see that font right there? Every moment matters. I don't have a Cricut, and I'm not gonna buy one. 
because I don't want to become a slave to it. But when I can buy a coloring book for a dollar and get sayings in here that I can cut out and Mod Podge onto things, I'm like, hey, it's just like, uh, it's like having a cricket. And so I thought, what a great, look at this one, just, I love that one. What a great way to get some um, fonts and signs or uh, sayings that you can use without making, without getting a cricket. Um, you are tougher than, you are stronger than you think, sorry. But look at those fonts. So I purchased this specifically for that. And I also purchased this one for that, which was inspirational quotes. And like success starts with the first step. I mean, I can cut these out and use them on a DIY. And yeah, without having to print them out of my computer and use up all my computer ink. Okay, so... That's a DIY thought for you guys to be looking for things like this that you can cut them out and use. So then I found the calligraphy one and I've been really wanting to work on calligraphy. So I thought, okay, well, I'll buy it for that. But then as I get further into the book, they have these pages, these beautiful pages that you can practice your calligraphy on. And I thought the same thing. I was like, wait a second. Like I can use these in DIYs. So anyway... Um, because they don't sell a lot of scrapbook paper at the Dollar Tree. Like, that one's really beautiful. They don't sell a lot of scrapbook paper. But if you think to go, think outside the box and go looking through the coloring books, and also I can practice my calligraphy, um, you can find things that you can use to make your own signs and stuff at home. And then I found this, adult coloring. Adult coloring? Okay, so explain to me. Adult films and adult coloring, yeah. So I read it and I went, wait, what? And then I opened it and I looked at it. It's like, okay, no, it's just, it's not adult coloring. I think it just means it's really difficult coloring. Why didn't they call it difficult coloring? I don't, I don't know, adult coloring. Put adult in front of anything and where do we go? I'm just saying. But again, some of the things in here are so beautiful and stunning. I can totally see using this page as a background on a DIY and putting a wood word in front of it, how beautiful would that be? So now I'm gonna start looking at coloring books more when I go in there and see if I can find ones that would work for also this one, super beautiful. I do color and I have coloring books at home, but I have enough coloring books, I really don't need to buy any more. Love these two, so adult coloring, not like adult films. Mm. There you go, all right. So I have a toy to show you, but before I show you the toy, I'm gonna tell you that I looked up the price of this toy because I saw it and I was like, oh, no way, N no way. This, this, is at, this is at the Dollar Tree. And again, I think this year, maybe because of COVID and whatnot, we're seeing some really stunning, amazing buys. This is at Walmart. It is $10. The packaging is different. Yes, the packaging is different. Same exact item, but I what I love on the Walmart site is that they wait. Oops, I'm holding it wrong. I don't think I can do it that way. Is that they come on? Where's my pictures? Oh wait, well whatever. They show different ways that that this can be used. Oh, you dang it, you stinking thing. Um. So anyway, it was just really, it's really, really cute. Uh, let me see if I can get right back there. Okay, so here can you see? What I'm gonna show you is these are troll hair huggers, but look at how they are on the, on the wrist there. They're so adorable. They have little tiny trolls on the bottom of them and this great big long hair and you slap them on your wrist or on your backpack or wherever. So they had all these colors. Bum, ba -da -da. I mean, like, such a great... First of all, if I had a little girl and I was having a birthday party, I would go get these as the giveaway for the party, right? Because how cute. So they have orange and pink and green and sort of a ice cream sherbet color, turquoise, purple. All right. So, but I got these for more than just that because I cannot wait to make a St. Patrick's Day gnome and this be the hair. And then what I should do is have him holding his little troll friend with matching hair. Um, 
but honestly if you were having a little girls party this is such a cool thing to go pick up and do the giveaway for the birthday and they were ten dollars at walmart ten dollars all right so the other thing i'm going to show you that is a steal of a buy is guess what i found hard candy makeup yep hard candy makeup now this one is the balanced all day finishing powder with all its multicolors in there. This one is the jelly highlighter. So that's like a sort of a bronzer. And this one is um, the light and bouncy highlighter. It's more of a rose. So it's like a, you know, a blusher. All right. A dollar. I got those four. But online, I'm just going to show you the array of prices that we have right there for our, for the hard candy, hard candy stuff. Can you see that? So Upwards of $10 on these easily. Why hard candy is at the Dollar Tree, I have no idea. Um, somebody said that they're going out of business. Maybe, I don't know, but they are at the Dollar Tree. And randomly, we are finding them. So um, again, these are the three things that I found. Super excited about that. Just, I mean, and these are big. These are big, big things, domes of whatever, I don't know. Anyway, I'm like, are you kidding me? Okay, and the final thing that I got at on this haul was these fun little things, brand new. These are brand new. I have not seen these before. And let's see, I've got, there's two different series that I've got here, basically. So let me get them in order and show them to you. So these are Soothing Facial Wipes by Bolero. 32 in here, but they're so their packaging is so pretty. Um, this one is green tea and jojoba. Is that how you say it? Uh, this is willow bark and tea tree. Okay. Chamomile and aloe vera. Honeycomb and lavender. Grapefruit and witch hazel. And pink cactus and watermelon. These are so pretty perfect gift basket inserts like like so perfect i mean and even this one and this one could be great for valentine's day but and there's 32 and this is a decent buy i'm not going to open them because i'm probably giving them away so uh but based on everything i've ever gotten that was bolero i'm going to guess the scents are really good and they're such an interesting combination so they say that they, um, so the grapefruit and witch hazel, brightening, so it gives dull skin the glow it deserves. The uh, pink cactus and watermelon says uh, moisturizing, so it helps hydrate and revive dry skin. Calming, soothe and moisturize unhappy skin for the honeycomb and lavender. The green tea and jojoba is soothing, so it keeps skin calm and smooth. Um, willow bark and tea tree is clarifying, helps to clear up and tone up. And the aloe vera, chamomile and aloe vera is restoring, cleanse, and give skin extra clarity. These are so nice. Brand new. Haven't seen them there before, so we picked them all up. But then the other one that was brand new, haven't seen this. I was like, wait, what? Also by Bolero, okay? Which is their, like, brand. It's like their Dollar Tree brand. These are cleansing wipes for the body. Love these. We go camping, and do you know what happens very rarely when you go camping? Yes, showers. They just don't. So body wipes are so nice to have. And these are the same thing. They're, they are made with an essential oil blend. So this one is citrus and sea salt, um, lemon and ver, lemon, ver, lemon verbena and sage, grapefruit and lime. I don't want to drink that one. Mm, Lemongrass and ginger, sushi anyone? Um, cucumber and fresh mint. Eucalyptus and cedar. Feels like that sounds like a really manly one. And tangerine and lavender. Um, these are, go we're actually going camping and this weekend and these are going with us because what a great thing to find. Count on these is 30. But listen, if you go camping or even got young kids, right? Um, I just think there's, it's fun when they have those, those scents. And this is a brand new line that they've just brought out. So it's excited to get those. Okay. That's it.
that's it today, guys. So it's a long haul. That was a lot of stuff. I hope you saw something that you liked. Please comment down below if there's something specifically that you liked and you are going to put on your wish list. Um, I had a whole bunch of fun and I got to put it all away. <laughs> so till we see you next time, don't forget today was shopping Saturday and I hope you guys had a great time. I'll probably be doing a bonus haul actually on Monday. So look for that. And um, until then, everybody have a great day, great week, great life. God bless you all. Thank you so much for watching me here on Bella's Bargains. And we'll see you on um, the next time.